Hello, my beautiful warriors of love and light, and welcome to this weekly tarot reading from March 29th to April 4th. My name is Sabrina. Um, I just wanted to go through a little few think pointers. I want to say happy Passover to everyone that's celebrating, and also happy Easter. It is coming up. And today, or, or um, Sunday, which is when I post this, is full moon in Libra, so it will be that for the next two weeks. Uh, you'll feel the effects of it. The full moon in Libra is all about balance of relationships, harmony in the relationships. It's also about justice. And this week, in the next few weeks, I feel like justice will prevail for many people. So whether it's uh, you on this awakened journey, whether it is you in an, any, any form of your life, if you're looking for justice in a court system, then it could it could very well come to fruition. Also, it's all about relationships. It's all about this coming together of relationships or this f pulling apart of relationships. Now we're in this it, in this part of our lives right now where it's like people that are not aligned with you, people are not serving you anymore. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say it's okay, right? It's fine. Like we said, we always talk about energetic cutting of cords, and that is something that you could do right now because it and it's gonna come and it's gonna boil over. Even you're gonna start to feel it and feel it more, and you're gonna see it. You're gonna see the differences between you and other people. So, and we're entering into Aries. Uh, Aries. We're entering into April. So it's like for me, April feels like a new year. Right, we're starting the new astrological year, so it's like a new beginning, a rebirth. Uh, apart from spring, it's like April to me is the beginning of a new year, and I feel like I, I think we deserve a new year. <laughs> That's actually positive. So go April. All right. So I'll see you in your um, readings, but also a little notes because if you don't come to see me on Instagram. I always advise people to check their rising and their moon sign in case that their sun sign doesn't resonate with them in this particular week. So we have many other, we have also the Venus sign, you have so many other signs you can go into and look at it. Um, also check out my other pick a card readings and please um, like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Um, I love to hear your comments, I love comments. Um, also that's it. All right, so I'll see you in your reading. I love you, and bye. Hello, Aries. We pick the Delight um, card in the Instagram poll, and the Delight card is all about you um, finding the delight, finding, reveling in the day-to-day, -day, reveling in social gatherings. If you can, where you are, if you can't, do it anyway, but don't, don't, don't. <laughs> do what you can to gather with people and, uh, or not. So just enjoy life, go out into nature. Um, there's this feeling of like uh, no hard work this week. Maybe it's cause it's your month of April. So they're saying, no, no, Aries doesn't need to work this week. It's almost like enjoy the, 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 the beauty of life. Enjoy the little things in life. Enjoy, um, try not to get bogged down by things. And also there is this um, feeling of um, not finalizing any contracts this week, not uh, starting a new uh, contract, not buying a car. It feels like stay away from the heavy decisions. Stay away from any of this and just like enjoy life. Just pretty good. It's beautiful, delight. All right, so again, I pulled out a whole bunch of cards. So we got the Eight of Wands. The King of Earth in reverse, which is a Taurus, if that means anything to you. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. We got the Eagle from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. And I pulled from my animals because I love these cards. The Crow Spirit, co-create with spirit. And the Mouth Spirit, tend to the small things. I said, don't tend to the small things. No, no Mouth Spirit, no tending to the small things. <laughs> okay, Eight of Fire. 
Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is interesting because it's usually like it's about communication. Maybe you're going to be receiving something through the mail or through an email or a text message that is pertinent to you this week. But also an eight of, the Eight of Wands is usually this fast energy. And here we see it's like this kid on a panda going real slow <laughs> in this bamboo forest, right? So, but interesting, the panda. Anyways, um, maybe we're getting information this week that's important. So anyone who's on this awakening journey might understand the significance of me circling this right here. And maybe we're getting information. It, maybe information is going to be spilled out onto the media about this, which is kind of interesting. But we're talking about Aries now. So um, something's coming in for you, Aries. And you're like the king of earth in reverse. It's interesting. It's like the king of earth is uh, very practical, very... Uh, entrepreneurial very uh, set in his way and there and it's like in reverse so it's almost like fitting in with your delight it's like no let's let's not do any business no business decisions no uh, working hard this week just revel right in life and the nine of wands is this energy too it's like um the nine of wands is like you're um you're you're holding success in your hands and you're like looking at it and you're, you're contemplating whether you should take the stars outside or you know like it's, it's like this feeling of, um, of confidence but not quite there and here it's like you're almost not what is this you're not feeling the confidence so you've taken a step back a bit and now we're needing you to get out of this Rut. You could also be having uh, like a little altercation with a Taurus in your life, but it doesn't have to be. Um, eight and nine is also a um, Sagittarius in your life. Like I said, it doesn't have to be. These are just like markers here, but it doesn't need to be. But there is this feeling of you. They're being. You're being asked. Oh, I'm sorry. These things make noise. I should do an ACMR video. Um, you're being asked to, it's interesting because this is a kind of fast energy, even though in this card it seems slow to me, but it's like, uh, you're being asked to take a step back, step away from your responsibilities and your duties and your obligations for the week. Uh, an important message is coming to you this week, which is in your favor. It's like the eagle is this idea of like, um, spreading those wings flying out of that chicken coop right you're not you're an eagle remember that you're not like confined to that box you're not confined to the, the squares that we're supposed to live here it's this liberating feeling and it's interesting 16 17 comes out and they're two different decks so 17 is this crow which gets such a bad rap because they're always like oh death but it's not <laughs> the crow is a connection to source it's connection to spirit as well co-create with spirit so he's here to tell you that um spirit is around you or um it's time to align with those that are um are are, are supportive of your journey um, tend to the small things. We're going to ignore the mouse because <laughs> maybe some of you have to tend to something small. Maybe some of you have to tend to like, maybe the tending to the small things is not like, um, like tend to the little thing, clean out your junk drawer, uh, you know, do things that are pleasant, clean out your art and supplies. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like, doing the heavy duty stuff that's what it is that's perfect and it's like it's time now to co-create it's time now to uh, remember the creator being that you are Aries. it's time to um step away from this heavy energy that's ho hanging over your head like some of you are worried about uh finances with the king of earth here some of you are worried about jobs some of you are worried about um it could be a relationship that's not going well with a, like a man or woman in your life, but 
it could be like there's um, like a, you're a bit of a standstill but they're asking you to like fly like that eagle that you are the eagle has power the eagle um, is quick with decisions right it's like boop picks it up right? <laughs> he's um, it's really good here if there's anyone on the on the uh, awakening journey it's like things will be seen the eagle has landed but um, I feel like if some of you are having problems or if you've lost a job or um, you're, it's not going well in your relationship this week is not uh, the week for you to uh, weigh yourself down about it it's a day it's the week to do this to sit like a sparrow in the grass <laughs> and even if it's raining like here but doesn't matter take out the umbrella go out in nature revel in mother nature there's an important message coming for you this week and it's a good one it's going to lift your spirits it's going to take you out of this little bit of a rut that you're in and you have uh, you're, you're being asked to connect with spirit you're being asked to connect with source or whatever you believe in because they're here to help you it's you have to give them permission to come in and do the little things do the little things like a mouse can do right like I said before like do like pitter patter around the house that makes you happy do that <clears throat> but no heavy stuff this week none delight <laughs> So I'm going to pull out a really fast message just to see like, ooh, just a quick message to see what's going on. This is the Divine Energy Oracle. Wow, man. <laughs> Lots wants to be said to you. Okay. Wake up call. <laughs> Change the tracks and do what you love. <laughs> do what you love do what you love it could also this it's interesting it could also be like uh, some of you are just like in the humdrum of life and doing like things because it's like you have to do it to pay your rent and you have to do it to do this and that but it's like being asked to like, get out of that and do what you love maybe that's going to change something up for you change the tracks in your life change the direction it's easy for you to say, Sabrina, but I gotta pay my rent. I got that. But it's a whole thing. There's a whole different life coming for us. We are heading into a different dimension, people. A different new earth. It's hard to wrap your head around it, but it's happening. So if you're like, if even a little thought comes into your head to, to do something, follow that. Because that's not just your head. That's your higher self. That's your spirit team it's your god that's your creator being coming alive saying you know what you need to be a healer you know what you need to go into science or whatever i'm just saying <laughs> wake up call boom baby <laughs> this is so good aries i love it <laughs> all right aries you know what to do i don't have to repeat myself you know what to do check out your rising and your um moon sign if this didn't resonate with you but I think it's kind of cool. And um, that's it. I love you. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. And welcome to this weekly tarot reading. So in the Instagram poll, we pulled the Healing Chaos card. And I thought this was really poetic in the sense that, like, this is the tower card in the tarot. But... Um, Healing chaos means that some of you are going through a chaotic time in your life right now. You're not you're neither here nor there. You're not sure what path to take. You're not sure who's lying, who's not out there. You're like, what is going on, right? There's a lot of chaos happening within your system, within your body, within your light. And you're like, you're almost it's point in your life where you're done. So here they're asking you it's like beautiful like uh, butterflies it's like you're right be done with it go inside and free yourself from these low vibe energies that are inside you 
free yourself from all the ifs, ands, or buts that are inside you because right now we're headed to healing. We're headed to love and compassion. So heal that shit. <laughs> it's also like a, a beautiful reminder for healers out there that like I said this in my Instagram as well, but you're, you're, you're healing a lot of people's chaos, but are you healing your own? So it's time to look inside yourself and start to heal those wounds again. Heal the old patterns, the old behaviors, the old uh, ways of doing things that doesn't, doesn't re resonate in this new earth that we're going to. Uh, I really find it's such a beautiful card. It's a very, because um, some of you might be feeling like you're probably saying, you know what, shut up, girl. You have no idea how I'm feeling. <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing. You don't know anything. I said, I don't, I don't know what you're feeling. But you're definitely dealing with an ex internal struggle right now. And the card is here to tell you, is here to help you through this. It's here, we're here to, to reach out to people who are supportive of you, who are encouraging of you to get outside of this tornado. Because sometimes the tornadoes come for a reason. Sometimes we need to go through the struggle to see the light. So let's see what's going on with you. Three of summer, which is the three of cups. News worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births. Friends you cherish. Nice, what a beautiful. Awakening. Boom, awakening. <laughs> oh, that's the, it's the hangman though. Okay. Change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, a temporary pause in the, in the action. Okay. Nine of pentacles in reverse. So the nine of pentacles we know is re reveal, reward yourself for all your hard work. Bring, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. But in reverse, some of you are maybe uh, afraid of money. Uh, you're uh, not very, um, you've maybe lost a job, you're not working, or maybe you're um, like in a job, but it's just not bringing in the money that it used to bring in pre-pandemic. Uh, uh, pandemic, excuse me. And, um, um, but anyways, well, let's look at all the cards. Oh, we only got these cards. So we got Porcupine Spirit, Time for Beginner Mind, which is kind of beautiful. Then we got two of these. The Serpent. And Completion. So it's kind of actually very beautiful. So the Three of Cups is this, this energy of like celebration, but the Three of Cups is also something... It's about people coming together, like two other people in your life that are important to you. Maybe you need to um, reach out to these two people who are who will be able to make you laugh, will be able to make you uh, see uh, another perspective, will make you like uh, like you want to go dance with and enjoy life with, kind of thing, right? And this a hangman situation, hangman is like looking at this situation with a different perspective. So looking at it with like, instead of looking at it as a tornado and it's like the end of the world, looking at it as like, okay, I need to go through this tornado. I need to go through the chaos. I need to go through the difficulty. I need to, um, but to say goodbye to it and to forgive it and to let it go. Because this is not the state that we wanna live in. We want to live in a state, we don't wanna live hanging upside down either, but we wanna live in a state where we are at peace with ourselves, where we are fully healed. And I feel like a lot of you with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse, a lot of you have had, um, are having trouble with money and finances right now. You're having fu uh, trouble with, it could be you're having trouble uh, with independence in a relationship or you're having, uh, you're having a problem, not a problem, but you're having like a struggle with this. You could have started your own business this year and you see that it's not really like working but know that everything happens when it's gonna happen it's supposed to happen not not everything like as we move closer to this new earth we're moving into a, an earth that is expansive and it's uh 
everyone is going to be successful. Who knew? Okay. It's time for beginner mind is kind of beautiful because the beginner mind is, is that is just starting from fresh, right? So going through this tornado, coming out of it and starting fresh and starting new and like with a clear mind, like, um, with a different mind, not such a prickly mind with a, um, with a new avenue in your mind, with a new, like, um, with a fresh start. Like, let's say you were given, like after you, you heal yourself from this and you're given this, like all the money in the world, what would you do with that? Well, take that kind of uh, uh, perspective and work on that. I always do that sometimes where I sit back and I'm like, okay, if I had a million dollars, which I will, when I have a million dollars, not if, when I have a million dollars, this is what's gonna happen. Make these visions come into reality because we are manifesting at a greater pace right now. I love this serpent. The serpent is the kundalini rising inside you. The kundalini is now, if no one understands that, it's like it's um, all your chakras in your system, they're being aligned. So everything is getting aligned in your, your energy. Where the energy spins in your body and they're all becoming aligned. And the, the kundalini awakening is happening right now on earth. Right now, Mother Earth is going through her, her own Kundalini awakening. And like different parts of the world, like Arkansas and Mount Shasta in California and Chile and Brazil, certain places all over the world are being awakened by the Kundalini, by the serpent. So for this is for you to like, you have to take the idea of like shedding your old skin, shedding your old behaviors shedding saying goodbye like appreciating it for what it is appreciating the serpents which has been given a bad name appreciate the serpents and like the serpent goes through that he goes through a rebirth so it's time for that for you i feel like your completion you're at the end of something once you go through your chaos chaotic moment you you will be at the end of the journey like again, it's another snake with the Uroboros, right? It's like continuous, it's a continuous thing. He eats and then he gets re reborn. Like it's a, so it's like, oh wow, this is freaking beautiful, Taurus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really feel like this week is going to be a bit of a, a jolt for you guys. Even though there's a hangman here saying, hold back and look at the bigger picture, but there's this, um, coming back into your own, remembering who you are. If you are healers out there, then use that healing energy on yourself and, 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 and reawaken yourself again. Reawaken that light that's inside you because wanting to come out. Yeah, it's like get aligned with yourself. Start fresh, start new. Um, leave behind all this 3d matrix energies I'll leave behind all these like low vibe energies leave behind the people that don't serve you in your life leave behind everything that you're 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 in this process of an awakening which is kind of beautiful right you're you and even if you're not here you're like no I'm not here I'm, I'm feeling really fine it's, uh, it also could just be like you're helping other people through it. So please continue helping people through this awakening. Please help people uh, um, on this path because it's not an easy path. We are all here to serve humanity. humanity. And those who are worried about money, I'm feeling, I'm getting a very good vibe, and I'm feeling it's, it's, it's not important. It's not important anymore because money is going to be obsolete soon it's going to be um, community and humanity we're coming together now we need to start thinking differently so i love this porcupine when it first popped out i was like porcupine <laughs> I was like, okay. but it's, it is time to go back to when we were born when when we were light remember the innocence the purity of our light and our love I just, I just feel like, I, just for some people that don't worry, don't worry about um, 
any money issues, finance issues. Don't worry about um, it. We're, we're, we're heading into another kind of world. And it's like, concentrate on your Kundalini awakening. Concentrate on your energy. Getting aligned. Spinning faster. Let's get that spinning faster. Let's raise that vibration. Raise that frequency. Go outside. You serpent. Go outside. Porcupine. It's all this feeling of... It's all like outdoor imagery. So, like, go out. Cups. Pentacles. So, emotions. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about this. Okay. I'm going to pull out a card from this Divine Energy Oracle. Cause, just because. Final message for Taurus, please. Oh my god, these cards are like insane in the membrane. Okay. Address your addictions. Build on solid ground. So, address your addictions. Could be some of you are addicted to something. Maybe that's why there's a loss of money here. So, maybe you're a gambler, you're addicted to gambling or playing the lottery all the time or shopping online all the time shopping addictions <laughs> don't go into those stores don't go into pharmacy <laughs> that could be an addiction so it's interesting so if you're experiencing these anything here doesn't have to be major it could be a drug addiction or smoking or food it's time to uh um look at it in a bigger picture and try to um start anew start with a beginner mind even when it comes to an addiction i like that it's like we can we can't ignore the issues because the addiction could be this this part of this chaos in your life and it's okay and don't um berate yourself for it it's okay that you have it like but it's time to rethink it re uh, adjust it in your mind eat better drink better um do whatever it is that makes you happy. Meditate, exercise, walk in the park, hug a tree, hug a tree. <laughs> Go activate yourself in the sun, but build yourself on solid ground. I like this for this because there's this um, hangman who's hanging around here, but I think we need to be, we're at earth sign. Feet on the ground. This is like air. It's like, what is going on here? <laughs> We're not happy like that. So get your get your feet on the ground again, Taurus. You got this. You're at the end of this, um, whatever this is, and you're awakening again to your true light and true self. And whatever it is with your job or a relationship, I don't feel like relationship here right now, but it could be. It could be the end of a cycle. Whatever it's like, uh, keeping you down, you're reawakening you're rejuvenating all right Taurus I love you like I said to everybody else go and check your other rising and your moon sign if it didn't resonate oh, it's, I feel so good about this all right I love you bye hello my beautiful Gemini and welcome to this weekly tarot reading in the Instagram pool we pulled action so I feel like some of you are at a, um, maybe this is advice for you to move and do something maybe you're not um you're just um hanging on to something procrastinating um unsure about a situation and here they're like you need to act action for me is um feels like a mars like an aries uh, so if there's an aries in your life then it could be that but the Mar planet mars is all about action it's all about warrior like going for it and doing things instead of thinking about things so I feel like Gemini as a Gemini you're weighing things down and you're like I'm not sure no, no, no. there's something in a relationship in a job in um, anything whatever even you're making a decision for like should I buy this computer or not or something it's just just something weighing on you so let's see what's going on in your cards eight of swords in reverse Pull out the cards. Six of swords in reverse. All right. The muse of emotions, which is the king of cups. 
Then we have Elephant Spirit, Learn from the Past. How beautiful is this card? And then we have the Andean Cross, which is a shamanic cross. It's all the cardinal directions, but it's also the upper world, the lower world. This is like a portal into interdimensional, uh, multidimensional ways. It may be higher in your consciousness. It's interesting. Changing a direction, learning from your past. Interesting. So action. Eight of, eight of swords in reverse is this um, eight of swords. is like your... Um, not looking at your situations. Eight of Swords, you're starting to open your eyes, starting to look at it in a different way. So this is interesting. So there obviously is something going on here because the Six of Swords in reverse is the same idea. Six of Swords is like movement forward, traveling. And here it's like you're not traveling, which is understandable. Or you're just like um, afraid of making a movement forward. I feel that this here, wow, it's freaking amazing the way it works out. And the King of Cups is Scorpio, if that means anything to you. Um, the King of Cups is like this healing energy. It's um, romance. Maybe you're going to meet someone. Maybe you're in a, maybe there's a relationship that's happening for you right now. And, or there's a, someone out there that you're interested in um, and you're not making that move. And it's like, act. <laughs> Let's do it. Learn from your past. So maybe it's like some, it's like, obviously it's a general reading, but maybe there's this like, um, I'm going to just like explain some different scenarios. So there's a relationship. There's someone that you're interested in, man or woman. And you're like uh, wanting to, but you're not sure. So you keep going back and forth, cutting back and forth. And they're like, learn from your past. Just act. Gemini, stop thinking about it. It could be the same thing for a job. It could be the same thing for anything that's in your life. There's something holding you back. There's something like you're afraid of moving forward. And they're like, maybe channel the king of, of, of cups energy, which is like um, confidence, and but in a healing kind of way, like coming from your heart. Like start listening. I think I think uh, in general we need to all start listening to our heart more, going into our heart center instead of thinking with our ego. The ego is what like uh, keeps us in this state of like oh, I'm not sure what to do. It's like the Andean cross is here to tell you like it's time to uh, choose a direction. Where do you want to go? It's time to go jump into that um, portal. Because what you got nothing to lose. I feel like some of you stuck. You're stuck like the six of swords in reverse. Is like you're uh, you're wanting to travel. You're wanting to expand your horizons. You're wanting to go out, and you're uh, because of what's going on out there. You're being like uh, forced to stay indoors. But they're still saying that that's not an excuse. I feel like someone there, if anyone is single out there, there is someone coming in and it's time to, um, sorry, it's time to, um, let go of those anxieties and stresses, let go of this, let go of all the anxiety, the stress, the what if, what ifs, let go of the what ifs. Learn from your past, Jim. <laughs> I'm just going to keep this here. <laughs> it's like. Um, the elephant has a, a wonderful memory so he learns from his past but it's like the elephant is also as huge as he is a warm <laughs> nurturing animal twenty five is five plus two is seven seven is having faith in yourself Number two is partnerships, which is interesting. So there's definitely something about love here. It doesn't have to be love. Let's say it could be like a someone coming in that's like uh, a friend that's um, 
and you're like, mm, I'm not sure if I want to be friends with them. You're, there's something holding you back, Gemini. What are we holding back on? We have like, uh, we have nothing to lose to making like choices if there if it's the wrong choice. But nothing is ever a wrong choice because it's a lesson that we learn. And I love this. This card is just saying it's like just take that action, just do it. There's like like I said, if you want to start a new business and you don't have a lot of money, do take it take an action towards it. What does that mean? Go out and reach out to someone else to, to get a loan from them. What like the what is the worst thing they could say is no. Okay, next like reach out, do a fundraiser, go fund me, something like this. I feel like that is what it is. So if it's a relationship, you're waiting, you're waiting for someone to text you or call you, just call them and text them. <laughs> Nothing to lose. Like the, what I always say is like, what do, you, what do you have to lose? They're gonna reject you? Okay, good, so that's good, done, next. <laughs> like, now you have time for other people, right, in your life? I feel like there's this like, you're uh, holding back on something and this is your uh, message this week is to do, just do, just do it, Gemini. Okay, so we're going to reach for a divine energy oracle message for Gemini please okay oh my god everybody's getting two it's interesting express your joy Gemini <laughs> seek a hidden treasure what is your hidden treasure Maybe you need to seek a hidden treasure. Maybe maybe you're not acting on it, but I think it's your hidden treasure within you. Seek that love inside you. Find that love and a healing inside you. And just do. Express yourself. Express your joy. Express your love. Express. Choose a direction. Doesn't matter what direction you choose. Right? Because it's always a life lesson. All right, Gemini. This was really fun. Okay, so um, just do it. <laughs> That's all I have to say to you. All right. I love you. Check out your rising and your moon if this resonates. I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Cancer, and welcome to this weekly reading. So we pick pleasure from the sacred energy oracle, I believe. Um... I love this card. It's just so pleasant <laughs> with the moon, the crescent moon in the back and the luminous light. So if anyone is on this awakening journey, it just feels so right. It's like connect with your team, connect with your spirits. But if you're not, it's just pleasure. Just enjoy your life. Revel in your life. Uh, try to step away from the outside world uh, of gloom and doom and lies anyways. So just stay within like this little pleasure dome here. It's like an arch towards uh, like a better life. Like live in your dreams, live in your visions, I feel. Let's see what's going on with you this week. We got the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Wands. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Hello. We got all court cards. So these are like people in your life. But they're very interesting. Okay, let's open this up. You got the least amount of cards, but doesn't mean anything because we could find a lot of information in cards. Dove Spirit, be peace. Oh, this is my favorite card in this deck. Luminous Warrior. Love it. All right. Luminous warrior is like shining the light on all that you have. It's that all the good that you have, all that is like um, all that your worth, your uh, the love that you have, everything about you that is like makes you happy, the passions in your life. It's like uh, putting that spotlight on you and showing it to the world. I love it. And like speaking your truth, and speaking your art, and speaking your love, and speaking whatever it is, but doing it through a, your voice, through your medium, 
through whatever. Anyways, it's interesting. So like the like right away we see these two knights. There are two knights here. One knight is in reverse and one knight is this. So this is like usually the knight of cups is romance, love coming in your life. But in reverse, it's either either you're in a relationship and you're falling out of love, cancer. Or they're falling out of love with you. Or it's just not working, right? It's just that there's something that is not working. But the knight of wands, it could be could be you're in a relationship and like you're there's knight of wands energy is this like suave charming guy that comes in and like swoops you off your feet but he's not there for the long term <laughs> this one is but he's in reverse so I'm, I'm interested to hear about this cancer and the queen of wands in reverse is like you very confident very like but you're in reverse, so you're, you're having a little bit of a struggle with your, uh, your yourself. Okay, let's just I'm just gonna use some scenarios. Maybe you're having a little struggle with yourself when it comes to a relationship, and you're interested in someone else. But you're struggling. You're like, oh my god, do I ha should I like go for this? Should I be tempted? to like uh, fall into the this wiles of the knight of wands even if i'm not i'm not really falling i'm not really in love with this person anymore wow it's really interesting it doesn't it doesn't have to be everything like this so it also could feel like you're falling out of love with yourself and it's asking you to fall in love with yourself again the knight of wands loves himself <laughs> I feel like that is, there's like a little, some of you here that are, um, that are um, struggling with loving yourself. You're struggling with confidence. You're struggling with self-esteem issues right now. You're not wanting to be social. Although Knight of Wands is pretty social. Um, you're, it's interesting because, um, this luminous warrior is like cancer. We need you to like, um, find, find your confidence again. Remember we're here, um, to look, enjoy the pleasures of life and <clears throat> the play, your pleasures of life. Sorry, I'm going to take a glass of water. <clears throat> your pleasures your pleasures of life night might not be like coincide with other people's in your life, right? But doesn't matter because these are yours. So it's like illuminate your desires, illuminate your passions, illuminate your um, your wants and your needs. Uh, some of you are feeling insecure in love some of you are feeling insecure like you don't feel like you're loved by family or friends or whatever like there's this uh, insecurity with that with and I feel that with the Queen of Wands as well I feel like you are you give a lot of love to people and you're not it's not coming back to you but it's um if we put expectations on others and we expect them to love us because we love them, then there's no like movement forward in life. It's not about that. It's about us putting the love for these people and that's it because I, you want to, right? It's not like, I well, I gave you this so you need to give me this and we need to like, it doesn't work like that when it comes to love. Love is unconditional. So you give it and Knight of Wands energy is that energy like that. It's like find those people around you that you're passionate about, those people around you that, I mean, I'm not saying to stay in a relationship that is um, mentally and physically and emotionally abusive either, right? I'm, that's not what I'm saying here, but it's like finding that love with, when, when you find that love within yourself and you start to love yourself a hundred percent, then you start to see things very clearly and you know you'll know when to walk away 
you'll know when to pick up that rod and step away from it. Oh, that went heavy fast. <laughs> okay, so it's like I really feel like to be at peace with yourself. Be that dove, spread those wings, and like uh, illuminate your light. I really like it's like it's asking you to illuminate the light inside you. You have a light and love inside you, Cancer, and it's time to step along that walkway and go towards the light. Um, shine that light on your passions, on yourself, on your soul. Spread those wings and fly. Free yourself. Free yourself from those that are not, um, that are just keeping you down, that are not loving you the right way. If you feel like they're not loving you the right way, then why hang around them? And if they're your family members, then you just have to find a way to like um, not spend as much time with them or um, communicate if you want. But everybody's kind of set in their own ways, right? It's, um, it's finding that... I really feel like it's all about loving yourself here, Cancer. Like truly loving you. Um, not expecting others to fill that gap. Um, just being unconditional about it. And also, I feel like there's some of you, it's being asked for you to like... Um, dive deep into some of your um, passions or hobbies, uh, do something that you really love, it's going to help you, um, it's going to propel you forward, it's going to propel you forward to the light. Wow, it's fairly beautiful. I'm going to set, take out a message from this oracle deck. For cancer, please. Cancer. What do they need to know? Final message, please. This is why I take out the decks because I take jumpers and it could be I could be here forever. <laughs> <laughs> go for your dreams is your dream in Paris go to Paris I love this do what's in your heart do what makes you passionate what inspires you what burns you go for your dreams do whatever it is doesn't matter what other people say your pleasure is what's more important right now all right, Cancer, I love you. I hope this resonated. If not, go check your moon and your rising. Um, all right, I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Leo. And we picked the protection card from Instagram, and I felt like there was two messages coming from here. And there's one is that you're being protected from source, from the spirit, from the angelic realms, from whatever it is that you are connected to. They're protecting you. They're here to um, protect you on this journey of awakening. They're here to protect you in whatever area of life you are in. There's also protection could mean that you're needing protection um, because you are in a situation where you may be giving yourself too much, too much energy to someone. You're giving, um, or maybe there's people around you that are not, don't have your best interests at heart. I feel like there's this need maybe of, of, of help. So reach out to people around you. Reach out to those that uh, care about you because they're here to support you regardless. And I love this oak tree. Strong. You're strong, Leo. We know that you can do this. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. Three of earth in reverse. Sorry, I was like... That's the Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Death card, Transformation. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Oh, you got four. And the Two of Wands. And we got the Vulture Spirit, Nothing is Wasted. And Soul Retrieval. 
beautiful. So right away, three of pentacles in reverse is like there's something um, you're collaborating. Maybe you're um, you're collaborating with two other people. It doesn't have to be. It could be one person or many people. But you're, you're, you're doing something together and it just fell apart. It's not working. Um, you're having a hard time. It's like a, a, the earth is money and finances usually. So there could be um, a bankruptcy. It could have like a failed business or a failed investment. But I feel like it's more with somebody in your life. But it's and the seven of swords in reverse is this. The seven of swords in this deck is just her standing here with all this gander around her, and she's standing in her own power, and she's not conforming to society. And here, it feels like in this tarot, tarot like meaning is like you're letting go, you're going with the flow of society instead of standing in your power again, Leo. But if I take the traditional tarot in reverse, would be like you're, you're releasing yourself from people around you that no longer serve you. So we can, it's very interesting. But there's a change here. The death card is transformation. It's, um, it's releasing the old and starting a new. Interesting. Nothing is wasted. So the vulture is like saying, everything you've learned in the past, every, every time you got hurt, every time you were deceived, every time you were lied to, every time this, it wasn't a waste because it was a le lesson that you learned. And now we can move forward. Because soul retrieval, let me see what it is. It's like you're coming together with the source. You're no longer fragmented. You are with the creation. You have headed, no, you have healed the cause of the pain you feel so you do not need to dwell on it no longer. If you're still hovering over an old wound, find a new flight path. Don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. Nice. So I feel like some of you here, Leos, had to deal with uh, either a breakup in a relationship or a breakup in a partnership, with like a business partnership, or a breakup in a friendship or family. Like a, they either lied to you, they were unfaithful, they deceived you. There's like a feeling of that and that's why this protection card is here. It's like protect yourself against all these people because what they did is their problem and now you're in this like new journey transformation two of wands is this right it's like moving forward it's like choosing the path you have two paths in front of you but both paths are good doesn't matter which one you take the two of wands so it's almost like it's time to change so whatever it is that you need change in your life this week is a good week for that and your, your soul retrieval, I love this card, it's so freaking beautiful. It's like the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. It's the so, same idea as this, this death card. It's like releasing yourself from this old and like um, freeing yourself, liberating yourself. Moving forward onto this awakening journey, if that is it's what it is. It could be a lot of you people, uh, not a lot of you, but like some of you, that are on this journey and you're being like pushed back from people around you and they're just asking you just continue on the journey there's nothing you can do about that if you're not aligned with people then let it be and move forward um but there's this this one is interesting for those on the journey as well it's like um don't conform just because it's easier stay your path stay your or it could be with anybody like some of you maybe are just saying okay yes and staying in a relationship just because or staying in a, a job because it's easy 
I, I feel like this message here is like, no, <laughs> like, <laughs> you're a Leo. You can figure it out. You're fiery. You're, you know how to like create your own path again. Um, but nothing is wasted. That's what I like about this vulture. It's like nothing that you have learned, even if you've been lied to, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a, it's a lesson. Now we move forward. We don't look back. Like that's this feeling of this two of earth um, fire. It's like the light is on. Doesn't matter how slow we go, but we're making it. We're going forward into the light. Um, try to stand in your belief system. Try to stand in your power when it comes to anything, a job, a relationship, this journey that you're on. Uh, free yourself from all, any constraints. It's your time to shine this week. And you're being protected. So um, I, 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 on a, oh, yesterday I posted a, a video on Instagram about the mantra cards that we sell. And there's protection cards as well. And one of them is a call into the Brotherhood of the White Light to protect you with the bubble around you. And I feel like this oak tree is exactly that. So call in your spirit team, your God, or whoever it is, or anyone, or just yourself. And create a, your own bubble around you to protect yourself from any of people. People don't intentionally hurt. They don't go out intentionally hurting you, but they don't realize it. So just be wary of that, of any negative energies in your in your distance, and just um, shut it down with that the bubble of light. <laughs> um, but you're in for like a beautiful change. There's something in your life that's like dying like a, a, a like old relationship an old job a, a friends or family like relationship that's not like bringing you anything and you're um, it's like feels so freeing so good on you this week Leo pay attention to any negative energies around you put that bubble of light around you if uh, you're you're at a, lose a job or you're it's not working out in a business or finances do not fret because it looks positive for you i love it yay leo i'm a leo rosin so um what's the final message for leo please final message for leo please i need divine guidance for leo Divine guidance for Leo, please. Oh my God, everybody's getting two cards. Oh, I like this. Take the lead, Leo. <laughs> it's not very hard for you to take the lead. I love this card. It's like a freaking Leo card. Become a clear channel. I love this. Get, um, connect. We are all getting more and more connected. Things are waking up in all of us. Become a clear channel with whoever it is that you believe. It's time to take the lead, the lead in your life, to protect yourself, to change, to like embrace your this you enlightenment, embrace whatever is coming to you. You got this, Leo. Um, remember, everything is a karmic lesson. Don't uh, rely, don't live in the past. Let's move forward. Let's move forward into this new earth. Let's move forward into the next step in your journey. You're being guided and protected. All right, Leo. I love you and I'll see you next week. Or check out my pick a card readings and also go and check your rising and your moon sign. You might have other messages. I love you. Hello, my beautiful Virgo, and welcome to your weekly reading. We pick the power card in the Instagram poll. The power card is a beautiful card to me. It's about standing in your power, speaking your truth, no matter what, <laughs> what lightning is coming down. You have the power because we are powerful beings of light. I will continue saying that. It's also like um, you're getting um, 
power, you're getting powered up from source. Um, people who are on this awakening journey it, right now are being activated like no tomorrow. Go out in the sun. You're gonna. You're feeling our DNA cellular uh, structure is changing inside of us. There's a lot of power coming. We're com We're coming into our power. So this could also be if you're um, you're coming into your power when it comes to a new job, when it comes to a relationship. So it just feels really good. Um, let's see what came out for you. The three of swords in reverse. That's good that it's in reverse. <laughs> Say goodbye to heartbreak. The, oh, the fool in reverse. The five of wands. What's going on here? We got... The cat spirit, claim your independence. The cow spirit, so cute. The miracles are endless, nice. And from the shamanic oracle, we got the upper worlds, which are the angelic realms. So right away, the three of swords in reverse, some of you are getting your power back because you're either releasing yourself from a relationship that's no longer serving you, your um, three of wands, swords in reverse. Three of swords, I'll read for you what it says in the card. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from the situation, sadness that will heal with time. But because it's about heartbreak and grief. But you're actually um, finding a way out of this. So some of you have suffered in this past year, or in this past few months. We know why, but maybe more personally you're in a relationship that's not really working out or you could be a heartbreak for a family member or someone who's passed away in your life or a friendship that's gone bad or that, that hasn't really like um, gone anywhere or something there's just like you had a heartbreak but you're releasing yourself from that. So that's a very good sign. But the five of wands here is opposing goals arising from different opinions, feeling at odds with yourself over the ambitious people. So five of wands is this energy of struggle. It's like competition with other people. It's um, fighting almost. So and the dream the dreamer is like the the fool card which is like taking a leap and here it's in reverse so you're insecure about something so it's a very interesting energy here because um you're insecure about taking a leap taking a risk and here they're asking you to step into that power of yours you're insecure of speaking your truth maybe you're insecure of, of going against the the rules or you there's something about you but you're not happy about it doesn't make you feel good because you have this five of wands energy here that's like you're struggling with it you're struggling with this opportunity that's there waiting for you and you're like no i don't want to take the risk you're struggling with releasing yourself from these the darkness you're releasing yourself from the um, grief you don't want to like maybe some of you have dealt with grief and you, you don't want to um, you don't want to let that person go or it could be like um, the three of swords energy is usually about people like losing people but it also could be you lost a business or an opportunity because you didn't have the um, courage to take it and you're struggling with it. There's a, there's a little struggle I feel for you here. And here it's like claim your independence. Be that cat that doesn't care about anybody except himself. <laughs> and it, it's so interesting because all these bottom cards are so beautiful. They're like the cows, the, mir the miracles are endless. They're coming for you. And it's like connect with your spirit, your angels. You have direct connection. And they're saying to not... Um, bother yourself with the little things in life because you you have you're expansive 
you have the power inside you to release this the, any anyone who's dealing with the loss of somebody know that they're on just beyond the veil they're not far from you and they're always around you but it's, if someone lost um it could be you 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 it also could be like someone who's on this journey that's like having to say goodbye to their old self. Which is beautiful in itself. It's like you're saying goodbye to, you're forgiving yourself and saying goodbye to uh, people in your life that no longer serve you, but you're also saying goodbye to you. That you don't, that your old ways of doing, your old patterns, your old fears, all these old ways, and you're saying goodbye. And the, um, and it's hard. It's hard for you. It's hard for you to jump into the new. But you're 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 on in this process of doing it for yourself, and you're struggling with it. But it's okay because here they're saying it's okay. Claim your independence. Claim that you can do this. The miracles are endless. Miracles are abound. They're all over you. They're all around you. We are here to help you through this change, this transition, this transformation that's happening in your life. We're here to release yourself from all these negative energies that are around you. It could be like um, a relationship loss. It could be something, but you're you're coming to peace with these things, which is beautiful because you're finding that power inside you. Now it's to find that energy to take that leap into the unknown, which is so hard for Virgo because your Earth sign. But the miraculous are endless. I love this cow. Look how beautiful it is. <sighs> Stop torturing me, it's saying. <laughs> um, there's a very interesting feeling here of some of you are being asked to let go of all these... Um, Uh, energies that just keeping you down these energies of like obligation energies these um what you have to do these following rules kind of energy and it's like no nope. um find that courage again inside you find that independence inside you remember we are entering into a miraculous life and a miraculous new earth um Find that connection again to source because they're here for you they're here for you um, if, if there you have a little bit of you had a little bit of a setback Virgo but this week it's like get back up again and fly <laughs> and gather your power back I think that's what it is like amplify your energy how do you can amplify your energy just by like holding on to crystals all day long just keep them in your pockets keep them in your hands if you can but if you're working with your hands it could be difficult but keep a crystal selenite with you it, it really helps and to uh, increase the power inside you strengthen yourself get you clear all right so you can get these on my website, by the way, essencedivine.com. A little plug. All right, I'm going to give you a final message for Virgo. We need a final message for Virgo, please, from this divine. Final message for Virgo. Grieve your losses. <laughs> oh my God, it's so amazing. Go with the flow. My God, I love you. Thank you, Spirit. Grieve your losses. So that's what you're doing. You're grieving your losses, but now you need to go with the flow and take that risk and move out of that. Move out of those energies. <laughs> move into the miracle of life. Move in, go out in nature. Go out and talk to the cows and the cats and the birds and your angels because they're there for you. They're here to give you support. Never fear the risk. Just
just go with the flow. I love that. All right, Virgo, I love you and I'll see you in the next week or check out your rising or your moon sign for uh, other um, messages for you. I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Libra and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. We picked the standstill card for you. How beautiful that is. In the um, Instagram poll, the standstill for me felt like two different people. So the standstill either was you um, at a crossroads with a decision that you need to make and you're just like being, you're just not sure what to do. So you're choosing to stand <laughs> and, and think it over and be the be the balance I was gonna say in French and the Libra that you are and like ooh, wave the things down or there's something like there's a situation going on in your life that you're like or you're um, multitasking and you're doing so many things at once and you're like work 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 play 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 like so many things and they're like yo you need to stand back <laughs> we need you this week to stand still be the observer just watch the peace stay in your calmness in your like stillness i feel like that is a lot but let's see what the cards say so libra six of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> nine of cups in reverse cancer got that and the queen of oh my god cancer got the queen of wands in reversal and both knight of wands not the queen of wands so if you have cancer in your thing you should go check that out um <clears throat> pig spirit use your mind wisely snake spirit time to heal and the hunter in the secret shamanic oracle deck all right, stand still, baby. Six of materials in reverse, which is six of pentacles in reverse. Is some of you are in the knight of, of cups in reverse. So let's look at the reversals. This is love. This is money. Some of you are giving your money too easily. You're shopping. You're spending too much money here. Some of you are giving your love too easily to people. Some of you are being stomped on with love. So there's a few scenarios, but... Um, this is like you're releasing your hold on someone that's not loving you back. So you, maybe you need to like uh, let go of because um, the six of, of pentacles is like generosity. Maybe you're being too generous or maybe um, you need to be more generous. Could be. But I feel like there's um, Feel like some of you are in a relationship right now that you're give give giving too much of your time and it's like time to like let go it's time to go into standstill mode because the queen of wands is like this super confident very social very outgoing very uh basking in the sun kind of character you know personality very strong very spiritual like a healer as well very connected to her soul and her light and yet we have here these two energies that are showing that you're either um, being overly giving of your love being overly uh, generous with your money being overly generous with your time and it's not really um, your best interest right now it's like we need you to um, harness this creative energy this power within you and stand still like use your mind wisely like use your um, your intuition The snake spirit is all it's time to heal. The snake spirit is also like a lot about like shedding your old skin, shedding your old ways. Maybe this is what how, this is your mo in relationships. You give, you give everything. You give your love, you give your money, you give everything, and then you get hurt. Uh, could also be that um, 
it could be a job that you give your heart and soul to you are giving all your money to this job you like a, a, like a business or something but it's like almost there's this feeling of you guys need to um, step back and heal it's time to take like shed that skin like I said here find that um, alignment of your chakras which I feel like this is like the kundalini snake inside you it's time to go back into yourself into your light into your soul some of you are um, living in this matrix and preferring to live um, in it like the day to day and living this life of routine but it's almost like spirit is coming and saying step outside of this please can you please go stand in nature and look at the beauty of nature and look at how she has evolved in the millions of years that she has been here the hunter I wanted to see the hunter the hunter is rely on your own skills to traverse the thick forest you are in to reach your destination talking about forests and mother nature you need to follow the tracks left by spirit to claim your bounty which is already prepared and being offered to you do not follow the maps drawn by others as they will not lead you true instead become the map maker find your internal compass and use all your senses including your common sense wow man stop following the rules of the matrix <laughs> this is so amazing thank you this is so cool so be your map maker do what you want to do like I'm not gonna tell you what not what to do because if you want to follow the rules of the, of the land then you you're you have free uh, your sovereign being and you have free will but I'm feeling here that there's this energy of like you giving too much of your time and your love and your effort into like a job or into a relationship or into like um, pleasing your um, material things in your life instead of actually going into your uh, creativity and your passions and your desires and like harnessing that and being your own map maker choosing your own destination finding that time to heal I feel like this kundalini thing is here the 55 it's beautiful it's a, a 10 it's a 1 it's like a new beginning it's time to like um, expand your possibilities expand your uh, thinking use your mind wisely it's 47 it's 11 angel number it's also 2 which partnerships <laughs> which is <laughs> beautiful you always have to check those numbers 2 plus 7 is 9 it's like the end it's the culmination of things happening for you I feel like uh, it's um, many of you here Librans are at being asked to go and heal and heal your light and heal your wounds and heal your old ways uh, release those old ways we are heading into something completely different from the old um, be open which you are Libras you're very open you're open-minded when it comes to these things but it's almost like you're giving a lot to other people and you're not taking for yourself just not taking you're not like enjoying and reveling in your life but you're um, they're asking you to harness the Queen of Wands energy I love it so I'm gonna give you one final message for Leo for uh, Leo sorry. <laughs> Libra please Libra full moon in Libra this week so harness that power you have the power now to balance relationships to fix relationships to let go of relationships any message for Libra please for the week of the end last week of March beginning, beginning of April Correct your mistakes. So, whatever your mistakes are, if it's giving too much money, it's giving too much love, then find a way to come back 
and heal and heal and use your mind wisely that's amazing and be that map maker be that um, warrior be the hunter not the hunted all right libra i love you and i hope to see you next week if this didn't resonate go ahead and check your rising and your moon sign um it's very beautiful it's a beautiful message to just stand still go out in nature activate yourself in the sun in the moon and the light and the trees we hug the trees put your feet on the ground lay on the grass you can't imagine how grateful mother earth would be if you do that it's like you're sharing your energy with her all right i love you bye hello my beautiful scorpio and welcome to your weekly reading we got enlightenment which is so beautiful so enlightenment for me if you're on this awakening journey is like beautiful message saying you're on your your way you're uh, finding your connection to source you're finding your connection to your light your powerful light that you are but it also could be if you're not on this journey it could also be that you are um, finding a new lease on life you're finding something interesting going on with your job maybe you're going to get a promotion this week there's just an an interesting turn of event that's happening you're seeing clearly when it comes to relationships when it comes to like your family when it comes to friends when it comes to like a job or a business so it's beautiful it's like a culmination energy of like enlightenment there you go <laughs> so let me see let's see what we have here for you the temperance card which is a Sagittarius card if that means anything for you the king of cups which is a Scorpio card so you are showing up in your reading so you showing up in your reading means very powerful week this week and the king of wands in reverse which is a Leo in reverse we got the Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery. Wombat, wombat Spirit, Be at Home, like the rest of the world. <laughs> okay. And the Arrow, beautiful. So right away, the Temperance card is this balancing of emotions. We, as you can see, it's like this, uh, what do you call those? like a seesaw I guess and there's like big and small so your small problems your big problems right so or whatever it is whatever your emotions that you're dealing with right now um, temperance is also a card about um, awakening it's also a card about um, finding it's like a mod moderation so some of you might be um, doing something but doing a lot of it and they're saying no can you like stop working so hard and enjoy life like so there's an ex it's an extreme card right the um the temperance card it comes right after the scorpio card which is death and it's um the sagittarius card the sagittarius card is they're more free about things they um they look at the bigger picture so temperance is you finding um, balance so whatever it is that you need to find balance because right away when I when I see this card these two cards show up it feels like um, like it, this is you let's say which is like a healer a compassionate soul uh, very uh, smart very uh, industrious uh, like a, more of a romantic like you guys are and the king of wands in reverse the king of wands is very like impulsive very strong but in reverse, it's like, it's a my way or the highway kind of attitude. Like, so I feel like, cause it's like two people, kings, could be a relationship thing. So you're in a relationship and this is you, and this is this, your partner. And it's like, it's always about him or her. It's like, um, you're here and you're like always like uh, mending the situation and the other one is always like mm, well this is what i want so too bad for you kind of thing it's very manipulative it's very um it's in, in it's insecurity inducing for this partner 
So this is there's there has to be there doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be in a business partnership. It could be in a family uh, situation. But there is this feeling here, this um, instability, and the Temperance card comes in. And it's asking you to balance these emotions that you're having because you're um, not in a you're you're having a, a you're struggling with someone in your life. And it's not a situation, it's a person, because the kings are people. So, um, it's, maybe it's because you're at home, right? Maybe these things are coming up because you're spending a lot of time with people. But it's the arrow here is asking you to find a direction, find a direction up towards enlightenment. But you know what? Enlightenment could also be like, you're illuminating something that's happening in your life, right? So to get to enlightenment, we need to clear all that no longer serves us. We need to clear those that are um, keeping us down because they're arrogant. Because the, the Leo, the, that's the Leo in reverse. When they're upset, they're like not happy campers. So like, and the wands and the um, water energy, like fire and water, fire, like water, puts out the fire it's not a good combination so if you're leo and a scorpio interesting but um like again it doesn't have to be but there's this uh, very um i feel like some of you scorpios out there are have been dealing with this kind of energy for a while now that you've been trying to um compromise with your partner, with your family member, with whoever it is, you're you're trying to make the compromises, but um, they still keep they it's still they still keep to seem to keep you um, flustered, and you're being asked to uh, look at it in an enlightened way, and how do you look at it in enlightened ways? You look at it in a very um, outside of the situation kind of way you look at it with your heart and not your ego and you look at it um as like a bystander kind of way instead of someone that's affected by it um and the arrow to me is that feeling again of um finding that direction for you finding that like it's interesting because the king of wands is almost like the arrow but the arrow is going downwards here and they're asking you to take that arrow and bring it upwards towards you towards the light and towards your understanding and towards what makes you happy Scorpio because ultimately you're here in this reading and you're standing here with pride and you're very emotional you know king of cups is ruled by Neptune Neptune is all about delusion and like you, you, you could be in this relationship with whoever it is, and you keep deluding yourself that oh, it's going to be good, it's going to be fine. I'm going to just balance. I'm going to figure out my emotions according to this person. It doesn't have to be a man; it could be a woman, by the way. So, uh, it's just very interesting, and you're, 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 you keep standing strong in that water of yours and those emotions, but. At uh, one point, um, you need to let the tidal wave, like, carry through. <laughs> like, l release that which no longer serves you in your life anymore. Life is a mystery, which is, is interesting. It is a mystery, and we don't know what's going to happen in the future. We don't know. But, like, Bobcat's spirit is, like, um, he doesn't know what he's going to find in the forest in the dark when he's like scavenging but um, it's like take that leap Scorpio I feel that that's the energy it's like you've been home and you've been like in your comfort zone but it's time to take the leap uh, sling that arrow towards the unknown swing that arrow towards something that um fills your heart with love and the love comes back to you like you are a compassionate um, light being and you deserve the love that you 
you deserve the love. That's all. I don't need to do the love that you require. You just deserve the love. And it's, um, I feel like it's like the time is now, Scorpio, to start to see things clearly. Start to open up that crown chakra of yours and allow the fifth tube of dimensional light to come in and to open and to heal your wounds, heal your old behaviors, heal um, these insecurities that are inside you, heal these emotions that are not, that are weighing you down and to like see things for what they are and choose that direction that better suits you. It's a powerful reading, but it's like, I love that it's here. So stand in that power of yours. Stand in that healing energy and that love that you have for others. Stand in it and come from your heart and listen to your heart, Scorpio. So I'm going to pull out a final message for you. No one's allowed to take away... No one's allowed to give you pain and freaking condescension no one's allowed that to give that to take that away from you <laughs> you guys are amazing choose friends wisely <laughs> choose friends choose lovers choose partners choose choose wisely come from your heart i love this reading all right Okay, remember you're on the enlightenment path. There is nowhere higher than enlightenment. Check out your rising and your uh, moon sign if this didn't resonate. I love you, Scorpio. And stay strong, stay true to who you are. Be that loving healer that you are. You are the master healer, so stay that way. I love you. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. So welcome to your weekly reading. We got courage. courage. Why do I keep saying that? Courage. <laughs> courage. So I felt like courage was like some of you are going through a really tough situation right now and you're looking to be um, brave. You're looking to find a way through the tidal waves. Uh, you're looking for light here. And Spirit is coming in to give you that light and give you that bravery and give you that uh, support system that you need. Some of you are... Um, having a hard time in a relationship or at a job or just in the here and the now. So let's check this out. What is going on here? Ten of swords in reverse. It's a good sign. Releasing those old, uh, just releasing all these anxieties and these stresses in your life. Four of wands in reverse. Four of Wands is about wedding and celebration and in reverse. So maybe some of you are in the middle of a divorce or are having problems with friends or family. Three of Cups in reverse, same idea. So let's, let's look at what's going on here. Watch and wait, Seahorse Spirit. The Council, beautiful. And okay, well, community. All right. So, um, not all of you, obviously, but right away when I see this and this come out, I see someone having an issue in a relationship because of infidelity, unfaithfulness, someone uh, lied to you, a betrayal of a relationship. Um, it doesn't have to be. Um, I mean, I said in faithfulness, but it could be a friendship. It could be a family that is just um, um, just not jiving with you right now. You are having some issues with uh, relationships in the whole s scheme of them, like friends, family, uh, partners, lovers. And the Ten of Air, which is nice, is, is you releasing that. You're releasing these... And, you're you're actually finding that courage to come to terms with this um, bad relationship. 
I don't feel anything about a job here. I feel very much about relationships. So it's about people in your life. I mean, the, the community here m- makes me think that you need to go out and reach and look for new friends, new a new community that understands you. Um, if you're on this journey of awakening, then you are uh, finding that you're having a hard time with your family and your friends. They're pushing back on you and you're like um, experiencing some unhappiness, Sagittarius. So, um, but this week is beautiful. Like you have the seahorse spirit. The seahorse is like watching away. The seahorse is like this slow moving. He's like, mm, takes his time in the sea, right? But he's beautiful. He's... Um, It's a feeling of like greatness is coming for you. Something is positive at the other end of the sea. Something is positive is coming towards you. And it it, it says it all here in the council. Like this is like one of my favorite cards because I love the council. (laughs) Like yes, the council means it's like the council, the big council of the angelic realms or the galactic forces or whoever. It's like they're here to help you through this. They're here to give you the light, they're here to help you remember, they're here to um, help you through this process and it's like there's this rainbow of love, this rainbow of peace and harmony and there's these butterflies like freedom. So there's this feeling that you need to go through what you're going through Sagittarius, you need to go through this little painful moment at the, you need, it's it's not easy. Uh, your friends are falling away. Your family members are falling away. Your relationships are breaking apart. Um, it's not. It's never easy in the moment, but in the end, it's actually really good. Because why would you want to stay in anything that's not working? Why would you want to um, be around people that are just pushing back and condescending towards you? You wouldn't want that. That's just not good for your heart not good for your life not good for your soul and the ten of swords is like you're actually making the effort so i like that there's actually some of you out there that are like nope i'm not taking this anymore and you're you're doing proceedings divorce proceedings you're doing separation proceedings you're actually cutting off yourself from these friends or family members you're making the steps towards it and you you're here and you're um protected every step of the way so all the courage that you need just reach out to your spirits your guides your angels your ascended masters god the creation the source whoever or reach out to yourself reach out to your higher self or reach out to people around you that make you feel like this that that motivate you and encourage you enlighten you because watch and wait to me is beautiful and it's eight five and three is eight it's the power you I let it's like right it's wait like he, he's going towards this which is freedom and sovereignty and compassion and love which is where we're heading <coughs> into the magical forest of this new dimension and this new earth Sorry. I'm talking too much so, I really like this for you. Oh, look, I put this instead. Let's keep that there. I like this for you. I mean, I probably shitty for some of you because some of you are having to go through this and navigate through this. Um, but it could also be like, um, I don't know, I, I just feel like it's really a relationship. I don't feel like it's a job. It could be a job for you that you're having to break up with a job. Um, but really good things are coming for you. So I feel like you need to concentrate on that and focus on the good that's happening. The rainbows and butterflies that are at the other end of that tunnel for you. So build that courage within you. I like this look. The rainbow is here, right above you, and it's right here. And it's in a new it's in your community a new community, a new soul tribe. Like there's tons of people out there that are aligned with what you're 
going through, reach out to those people, reach out to your friends and your family that understand you. But uh, um, every time there's a dip, there's always an up, right? So we got this, you got this. I'm going to pick a card for you. Another card for you for some guidance for Sagittarius, please, this week, this last week. For Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Make a plan. Make a plan. I like it. Make a plan. While you're watching and waiting with the seahorse, make a plan towards meeting your soul tribe. Make a plan after. Like, yeah, I like it because if you're going through this shitty time, if you're going through this like heavy energy, make a plan for, make a vision board. Create a, like, dream big. I like this. Dream big. Look at like the, bigger picture do the hangman thing and look at a bigger picture look at the freedom and the love that's waiting for you i love it all right sagittarius i'll see you hopefully next week um check out your rising and your sun sign and also check out my other pick a card readings online um i love you and i'll see you bye hello my beautiful capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading i got the fulfillment card which is a beautiful card it's like abundance um a health I, I made a joke in the instagram i said it's like a little butt so if some of you are exercising then good on you it's working um it just feels very promising this card it feels very like abundant like i keep saying but it's, it feels very full like your wishes are going to come true whether it's business or relationship, but let's check the cards first. So I picked out um, an, an oracle deck for everybody else. Yours, it did not want. It didn't. So you, you got one less card than everybody else. I was like, okay. <laughs> so now we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. The Chariot. The Prince of Autumn, which is the Page of Pentacles. And the Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation. Which makes sense because of this Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is about laying a solid foundation, it's about creating a plan, being organized, getting detailed, starting a business, starting something that has to do with money, a financial plan, an investment, doing something, um, organized in an organized fashion let's see what it says cautious but wise action meticulous attention to detail kindness to others and the chariot card is like um very fast moving energy and here it's like success that comes from de dedication self-discipline celebrating your accomplishments being in the spotlight so some of you have started a business, started um, a new venture or start a new job or something to do with finances. And it's really like they're saying, wow, fulfilled <laughs> that you're doing really well. It's everything that the Capricorn would love. There is like, um, it's time to celebrate your accomplishments, but I like that. It's also time to, um, maybe you're thinking of moving up home. And if that's the fact, if that's the, that's the, that's the fact that's it's going to happen it feels like there's this movement like uh, you're uh, starting it could you could be starting a new relationship you could be um starting a new um, passion or creative uh, skill or something but you're laying like you're creating a foundation for yourself but the ace of swords is very interesting because it's in reverse and the ace of swords is all about mental clarity and it means that you're a bit not clear on something um 
it's like don't be deterred by challenges along the way it's important to communicate clearly and accurately but there's this um not so clear communication um so i'm trying to think here so like maybe the ace of winter and the ace of swords in the chariot here is like maybe you're impulsive maybe you were you're not thinking clearly when it comes to moving a new home or starting this new job or something like this so they're asking you to just be clear 100 percent clear on it like do the plan that you need to do as the page of pentacles would create a like a to do a, a pros and cons list or something but but if you have a solid foundation, then go for it. That's what I feel. I just feel like some of you might ha might be in the, uh, like, a bit of a, you're weighing something. You're weighing something out. You Maybe you've been um, offered a job opportunity and you're not sure about it. And you're, like, but here the, the message is just make sure that you have enough money to do this. To make sure that you have, like, a foundation make sure that you are set settled everywhere else in your life before you make this move that's what i'm feeling <sighs> this peach is funny it feels like it feels whatever it is that you're doing it is very positive it feels very rewarding like this juicy peach but like every juicy peach there could be a rotten one. There could be a ripe one that's like not good, right? So ripe, good. <laughs> it could be like, um, so I just feel like I'm, this. the message is for obviously this is general reading, but some of you is to be cautious of entering into a new uh, journey in your life or entering into a new um, uh, venture or job or relationship or like a home or something like you're or buying something so be wary of it just not wary of it but pay attention and and do like um the page of, of pentacles would do in that case he would write down a list pros and cons see where he's at like the beaver like like he would figure out if it's if it's worthy or not for you if it's like something that you need to take on because the chariot is also ego so is it your ego uh, is your ego coming in stepping in say yeah just do it right but is it the right thing for you and this is what i feel because the ace of swords to me is this like feeling of uh, mental uh, unclarity and um don't be so impulsive like the chariot so this week just be careful of what decisions that are you having to make um, just step outside of your ego kind of mind step outside of that and think it through that's just the message I'm getting so I don't know what it is that you're going through right now it could be like I said relationship or jobs or something but there's this feeling of you being a bit impulsive but know that this is positive so whatever the decision you make you're heading towards something that's like blossoming Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out a final message for you. Final message for okay, this card for Capricorn, please. What's the final message for Capricorn, please? It might take a while, but they've been spot on with every sign so far. So <laughs> be patient. Admit your vulnerabilities. I like this for Capricorn. I, this is like perfect with the Ace of Swords. So what if you're not clear? So what if you want so much to do this and you're like fighting yourself? Admit to yourself that you're not sure. Admit to yourself that you're unclear about a situation it's okay doesn't matter we, we admit the weaknesses doesn't matter you don't have to be strong all the time Capricorn love yourself I love this so much you know what love yourself everybody should love themselves loving yourself is makes decisions so much easier because you're like 
Well, you do everything for you instead of the other person or the other situation. You're always doing for you, you, and you. And there's nothing wrong with that. And loving yourself is how you can move forward in life, how you can be successful with this chariot and how fulfilled. So I love this for you, Capricorn. So uh, be kind to the beavers. <laughs> okay. I love you, Capricorn. Check out your rising and your moon sign if this didn't resonate. And check out my other pick-a-card readings. I do tons of them. I'm trying to do more and more. I love you so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius, and welcome to your weekly reading. I got We got the Miracles for You card, which is so beautiful. It's like these double rainbows, like already a rainbow one rainbow is beautiful imagine double rainbow double rainbows is like double your luck right double happiness double love double miracles it's so beautiful like you're being if you're on this awakening journey you're being asked to look at what's around you you're going to start to see miracles more and more showing up around you open your mind open your eyes and check that out be like present in it when it comes to you i'd love to see it could be everything and miracles are opening up for your job for relationships but i really believe it's like a personal thing here so let's just check what's going on with your card all right eight of wands in reverse ace of cups in reverse <laughs> okay and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yo, man. Lots of releasing to do. The Lizard Spirit. Dream the world into being. Yes, baby. I like it a lot. And you got the lower world. In the sh shamanism, the lower world is your ancestors. So, what is going on, Aquarius? Okay, Ace of Cups in reverse is like... Ace of Cups is divine love, but in reverse is like you're finding yourself, you're not loving yourself as much as we would like for you. Eight of Wands in reverse is like um, either some of you have um, texted or emailed or phoned or something and you... Um, Either you got a nasty text or email from somebody or you did that to someone else. It could be that um, you sent an email a while ago and you're still waiting to receive it. You're not, it's not coming fast enough for you. There's a miscommunication here. And this ace of love in reverse is like you're either, um, you're not loving yourself enough to receive these miracles and the knight of pentacles in reverse it's like the pentacles is very uh, practical like, uh, very um, straightforward it's like slow and steady and here um, I feel like it's um, I don't think it's fast moving at all I feel like it's um, someone in your life has uh, let you down or you've had a little bit of loss of money you invested in something and didn't work out for you um, there's just a very like interesting um, this week you are being asked to connect with your ancestors and go into your past lives if you remember them but if not then go connect with your um, it's time to heal some of your traumas of your past or um, because you're dreaming your world into a new being, which is beautiful. Maybe reach out to your ancestors, look into more, look into your ancestors, look into your past lives, try to understand what's going on, where you are right now in your life because everything we, we, we relive everything from the past. So any any heartbreak or any um, 
lesson that we yet we have not yet learned comes back into this lifetime and now it's the end because karma is ending this lifetime so maybe there's some of you that are um, you're being asked to um, love yourself more remember the miracle that you are um, there's a, there's a definitely a miscommunication that is, is has happened or is going to happen this week and if this is like a little warning or advice that don't uh, take it personally um, go into your heart space heal yourself find healing ways for yourself however it could be could it be with um, I really feel like you need to just go within this week Aquarius as much as you can but dream big um, if you can go into past life regression or past life then that would be kind of fun because it, it could help you understand what is going on with you obviously you don't have to do that but there's this feeling of like um, a slowdown of money in your life a slow down like you may may have, may have done an investment and it's just not returning right now or you um, you have a job and it's just not like you're not getting the raise that you want you're not getting the promotion that you want or it's just like it's like a slowdown everything is slow this week the communication is slow your job your finances is slow love is slow it's like just a very like um, you're hitting like a plateau in your life but there, the this lower world and this lizard spirit is coming and saying, just um, remember the creator being that you are. Remember the Aquarius that you are, right? You're a revolutionary. As climb back up on this weed here, and find that power inside you again. Dream the dreams. Dream big. Thirty-eight is eleven. It's like angel number. It's a master number. Um, reach out to your spirit team if you believe in that reach out to God reach out to reach out because there's a lot of help here for you there's support here you're 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 being asked to um, love yourself don't take things personally this week um, if you, if there's a dip in a financial situation, which there might be, if there's a dip of that, don't worry about it. Um, go to your heart center. Um, love yourself more. Um, start some um, vision boards. Start some. Uh, make some plans for the future like think big though like manifestations are becoming more instant like you you have this card it's like miracles are abound they're all around you so it's um really they're they're helping you hone in on the love that you have it's it's it you know what reverse cards are like Everyone's like, oh, I don't like reverse card, but it's like a release. Like it's release of all the things that are not working for you. So release the blockages in your life. Dream big, Aquarius, because that you know how to do that. So hone in on these miracles that are coming towards you, because they are. Miracles are coming. So one final message for Aquarius, please. One final message for Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to know for this last week of, I was going to say February, <laughs> March. <laughs> uh, where do the months go, I tell you? We're already in April. Hello, people. I, I, if there's anyone here on the awakening journey, I, 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 this is like water watch the water <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like that okay make necessary sacrifices
which is like that. So make if it's like money, like if you if you're being asked to hold on to your money, you're being asked not to spend too much money. You're being asked to hold on an investment, make the necessary sacrifice. If you're being if you have like uh, if you know that there's going to be a miscommunication, make the sacrifice this week and not go out and seek to communicate with people. Right? <laughs> I like it. All right, Aquarius. I love you and uh, check out your rising and your moon sign if this didn't resonate. Or check out my pick a card readings too. I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your weekly reading. We picked the focus card in the Instagram poll, and the focus is beautiful. It's like uh, either you're needing to focus on something specific in your life because your mind is scattered. Would it, that be the issue? <laughs> or you're just needing to focus on yourself. Go within and focus on yourself. So we're going to find out what it is that you need to focus on this week. The Hermit in Reverse. The Queen of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Queen of Cups is Cancer and the Virgo and the Virgo and Hermit is Virgo if that's of any interest to you. Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Wow. Hawk. It's beautiful. And Thunder. Awesome. All right. So the Hermit in Reverse is very interesting to me because the Hermit is all about um, going within or leading the way. But here it's asking you not the reverse, or maybe some of you are having a hard time leading the way. Or maybe some of you are having a hard time focusing <laughs> and like finding the center and finding your groundedness. That's more like it. Because the Queen of Cups is the as your fellow sign of Cancer. It's emotions. It's all about um, harnessing that healing energy inside you. Three of Pentacles in reverse is like um, is you working with someone else in a relationship or in a business or in a job and it's just not working out because it's like you're seeing at, you're all at odds you're seeing all differently the opinions are different. And that let spirit be your guide is pretty obvious. And the thunder, it's like maybe maybe you're needing to change something in your life. Maybe you're needing to um, rumble, right? You're needing to make a change in your life. Did I already say that twice? Eh? <laughs> so I feel like this focus card is like asking you to um, find your center, find that like oneness again. Find that healing energy inside you. Some of you are not believing in your healing energies. I feel that very strongly. Some of you are not believing in your um, leadership role. Some of you are not believing in yourself to be this. Uh, look, she's confidently she's sitting on this uh, mountain, I guess, with a glass of wine because you need a glass of wine. But I feel like. feel like you are um, seeking the one thing that you need to focus on right now is on loving yourself I feel like this is a very interesting theme that's happening in all these, these the last three reads have been all about loving yourself and um, and you might be like um, this might be affecting you because this three of pentacles is like collaboration it, was all, it could be relationship it could be like a job uh, where you work with people and it's you're just feeling boxed in and here it's like there's a box here too right it's a feeling like there's a and you're being asked to step outside of the box look through 
the possibility. Look through the portal here. See your potential to be like a healer that you are, to be, to go above and beyond what you need to do. Like you are the queen of the mountain or the king of the mountain, like uh, revel in that. Your spirit is by your side. You're being protected by the hawk. The hawk is like, uh, no one F with the hawk, right? <laughs> I feel like Pisces this week you're 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 going to go through a little bit of a um, uh, a change maybe uh, not by your hands by like an external change like something's gonna like um, happen in the external that's going to like whoa what is gonna wake you up kind of thing and it's gonna make you go again like Find yourself, find your uh, oneness and your wholeness. Um, you may have lost some money recently, you may have uh, lost a job, you may have uh, had a financial um, loss of sorts, but um, you're being asked to harness your love, like go into your love, like go focus on you that's what you're being at you have to focus on you focus on the love that's inside you focus on your heart step away from the ego focus on grounding yourself and being with yourself being happy finding that happiness inside you but you're going to be jolted into that this week so be very conscious of it because something is going to happen this week that's going to like push you towards it and you're like what <laughs> So love yourself completely. You could be having an issue with a Virgo. It's very possible. Or a Capricorn. Um, there's a Scorpio, there's a Pisces in your life. Uh, Pisces. There's a Cancer in your life that maybe you need to, you could reach out to and for extra guidance in your life. A she or he is there for you. Um, but know that this thunder that's happening, this like chaotic moment that's happening, as long as you're centered and focused, be this leopard, you will get through this week. Um, I really feel like there's like a healing moment this week that you need to go into some healing energies and tap into that this week. Um, and maybe help others through this thunder moment. But spirit is around you, so reach out to your guides. They're here and they're waiting for you. A last message for Pisces, please. A last message for Pisces, please. Some of you are being asked to step outside, like you're not, you're, you're, you're being too reclusive. You're staying inside and you're like in the comfort zone so, and it's asking you to maybe go out there, socialize <laughs> with your cup of wine. It looks like a gallon of wine in there, but yeah, go for it. Any last message for Pisces, please? Reassess. Make make no judgments. <laughs> I like that. I was like, make on judgments. Make no judgments of yourself because whatever is happening to you, it's happening to everybody else. Whatever's happening to you is is part of your life lesson. It's part of your karmic lesson. It's part of life. Reassess the this, the Three of Pentacles energy is like the relationship that's not working. Reassess that boxed in feeling that you are in, this like comfort zone that you're in that's just not working out. It could be a job, it could be whatever, but I like that. Find, go, go to your heart, always your heart, not that ego. 
focus focus Pisces focus <laughs> okay I love you Pisces and um, if this didn't resonate check your rising and your moon sign if you don't know how to get that you can go to cafeastrology.com and just enter your birth date and your time I love you and I'll see you next week